Hey everyone, welcome back. In this part two video, we're gonna look at uh, the power supply portion of the preamplifier and just looking at what I've come up with so far for how I've arranged things and make it, making it you know, easy to work on, easy to assemble, and then also focusing on the component spacing and making sure that the path, wire path from each component is as short as possible. And so this particular preamplifier is a dual mono power supply and that the CLC filtering is, you, it is discrete for the left and right channel. So this just is gonna offer more separation uh, between the left and right channel. So the way I wanted to do it was to do a sub assembly that gets installed into the power supply level that includes the CLC filtering, the MIDA board, also the neurochrome filament supply. And so the only thing that's really common between the left and right channel is the power transformer. And so it splits off, uh, so AC mains comes in, splits off from the power transformer to the left and right power supply channels. And so the CLC filtering is all housed on that sub chassis and the sub chassis base is made out of uh, eight millimeter thick Baltic birch plywood. And so this will be uh, pre-drilled with all the hole locations and then the components are then installed onto the birch plywood board. And then it's just a mirrored assembly to the other side and then installed. So just looking at it in detail, um, there's two capacitors that are film capacitor blocks. They get stacked and arranged using 3D printed parts instead of um, mounting those to a PCB board and then using standoffs. It just took up too much room in the, in the space. And so I just decided to stack them using the, the 3D printed uh, holders. And then those holders also have brass inserts, which if you're not familiar with those, those are heated up with a soldering iron to a specific temperature and then they're pressed in and melted into the 3D printed part which forms a machined tapped hole that you can then use machine screws. So it's a, a nice solid way of doing it. I looked at just using regular standoffs from you know McMaster Car, but I decided it would be better if I just 3D printed really strong rigid uh, plastic components that hold the various uh, components like the, the capacitors uh, and then the, the circuit boards which you'll see. So the way it works is that it comes AC mains in and then it goes through the, the power transformer then it splits off to the diode board which um, and then it continues on to the choke. The choke is uh, also a toroidal uh, choke from toroidy and then it continues on uh, through to more capacitors. Also the chassis itself for this level is made out of three millimeter thick aluminum. And we chose aluminum uh, because it will actually prevent the electromagnetic energy from the various transformers from transmitting through the metal into the rest of the preamplifier. And so the aluminum will prevent that from occurring so the next thing is uh, the filament supply. Again, instead of just using you know cheap little standoffs, I've decided to 3D print a dedicated standoff that raises the filament supply board up by about 10 millimeters. Um, and then it's also got the uh, brass threaded inserts. So that kind of sub-assembly uh, then gets screwed down to the plywood below. The plywood is simply mirrored uh, to the other side. So we got two sub assemblies left and right and they're just mirrored so that the we can pre-build that sub assembly and then install it into the power supply chassis. So uh, overall pretty simple, easy to work on and then keeps the point to point wiring very simple and straightforward and then we can build sub assemblies and then put those sub assemblies on other sub assemblies and then ultimately into the chassis. For final wire up. So just kind of modular creating like for example the filament supply. It's also used uh, for the LCD screen and so that's uh, kind of oh, there's another one there in the middle. So this the intelligent soft start board 
is uh, it goes before the power supply transformer. And so that's also housed centrally along with the um, filament supply board from Neurochrome that supplies the front screen. So I tipped the initial capacitor on its side and then clamped it to the wood. The idea here being uh, to get the diodes as close as possible to the transformer. And so that's going to minimize just that extra wiring flowing through the chassis and just keeping it as just direct as possible. So that's it for today. Just a short one. Take care and have a great day.